How do you understand and navigate your unique people section of Q and get the best out of it? This is what this video is about. This home screen appears on your smartphone or dashboard, whichever you prefer to use when you've completed your Q questionnaire and your personalized Q is ready. So we're going to click on the people icon now. There are two key areas of people in Q, making relationships easier and develop quality relationships. And it's really important that we have positive relationships in our lives because it's one of the biggest factors that impact both our physical and mental health. And we really feel it when they're not in tune. So what Q does is look at how you prefer to connect to the world. And there's six key ways you connect and communicate with the world and the people in it. So we're going to explore one of these, which is people engagement. For this particular person's profile, their people engagement is one of challenge. It's a mild preference, so their ability to be able to flex to the other side is pretty easy for them. Q will explain what a mild challenge means and is in this instance more likely to take a different view from others and see things in your own way and you're less likely to focus on similarities between yourself and others. And Q will always explain the science behind coming to that conclusion. In this instance, this person is more dissenting and they like to share different ideas or views with others. To return to the previous screen, we just tap this arrow here on the top left-hand side of your screen and you have an opportunity to explore all the others. So to return to the people homepage, we just click this icon down the bottom of the screen. And now we're going to explore develop quality relationships. There's a video here about understanding how to communicate well, and it's well worth watching because we all have a unique view in the world. And when we understand that, it helps us to be able to stand in other people's shoes to understand where they're coming from. We don't always have to agree with it, but the understanding is key to creating better communication. For now, we're going to explore strengths and potentials in developing quality relationships. So unlocking your potential and exploring how to manage how you connect to the world is really important. It's easy for us to stay in our preference, but it doesn't always serve as well. And being able to flex our behavior is important to get to the truth of what's really going on. So if we return to people engagement, let's see what Q has to say about that. So this person in this profile had a preference to look at what's different when engaging with others. They can be an excellent problem solver, fixer of things, and be good at investigating. And their approach absolutely encourages new ways of thinking. They often say yes, but in response to what others say. However, in order to fulfill their potential and be more effective and balanced with others, they may sometimes need to see things more from the other person's perspective rather than pointing out gaps in what they say. This will help them create more supportive relationships. And to do this, just by saying yes and adding to what others say in a non-questioning critical way is all that's needed. You will explore all your strengths and your potential for growth across how you can develop quality relationships. Now we're going to explore difficult conversations. Bad communication is one of the most widely experienced and frustrating problems people can have in their lives. When we need to have a difficult conversation with someone, we can resist it, we can avoid it, but those thoughts can follow us around all day long where it's very, very difficult for us to feel good inside because we can feel misunderstood or we can be sorry for something that we've done and we can struggle to communicate. So what Q does is show you how to have a difficult conversation. It's got a very clear five-step guide and it helps you take control to have that conversation, stand up for yourself and find your voice if it's needed and get a better understanding of what's going on. And that's about the ability to be able to step into someone else's shoes, understand things from their perspective. So then you can review your own. You may come to the same conclusion, but then again, you may not. Now, in the confidence section of Q, we explored something called bad day behavior. In this particular profile, the person had a green bad day style. This area of Q will let you do is understand how your particular bad day 
can impact your conversation with others. It also shows how someone else's bad day can impact their conversations with you. And then there's a unique five-step difficult conversation guide that you can just click on and you'll be able to explore a really positive way of being able to engage in that difficult conversation that you may have been avoiding and just carrying around with you, making you feel bad. The thing is, when we can get to the truth of what's really going on, then we're in a much better position to make choices about what we want. But if we're living in just our own reality, we can sometimes make the wrong decisions. And Q will help you get to more of that truth, to be able to make better decisions, have those difficult conversations, and decide on how to move forward following them. To return to the home screen, we're just going to press the Q icon. And that's it. 